Hello, welcome to Transcending episode <laughs> 72. I couldn't tell if the stream was working or not. That's what that dramatic... Good pause. Pause was. Now, we have... It's the last episode of the year, guys. Wow. The very last. What? Yeah. This is Trans Settings. We are group settings. My name is Ali. I'm Jazzy Jules. I'm Dip. My name is Chris. We have a live studio audience guest this week. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. First time. Well, first time audibly. We've had one with a silent guest before, Mm. but this is the first time, long time. First. (laughs) (laughs) This is Trans Settings, where we go into what's happening, what's trending in the week in the entertainment, news, weird stuff. Anything. Technology. Nothing's off but limits. Because it's the last episode of the year, we're going crazy. It's a bonanza, you could say. <laughs> yeah. I thought extravaganza. Ooh, I, would say, extravaganza. <laughs> I would say bonanza, <laughs> personally. But same word, much different. Now, we're doing top tens this year, this week. Top, top tens ten. of the year. Mm. You know what top tens we're doing? Mm. We're doing Tell top us. ten biggest trumps. Ooh. We're doing top ten biggest news. Ooh. We're doing Nudes? top ten... Nudes. Top 10 Chris movies. We're doing <laughs> top 10 Netflix originals of 2017. It's going to be crazy. Top oh, 10 Edge crazy. Lords. Yeah. Let's get into it. Okay. We're doing the biggest news first, Dip. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I know I didn't tell you that. <laughs> All right. So mine's not really a top 10. Yeah, start strong. Oh, More sorry. of a thematic kind okay. of. Okay. Look at the news, all right? Bloody hip. So I think the consensus from 2016 was that it was a year that sucked. Totally. Yeah. So if we look at it, we had celebrities, David Bowie, Prince, Alan Rickman, George Michael. They all died in 2016. Yeah, I still think 2016 was good. Uh, then Harambe happened as well. He died. Don't care. Oh, <laughs> well, you are an edge lord. That's edge lord stuff, right there. <laughs> where, do you, where do you come from? <sighs> Remember the memes that took over the world with Harambe? Yeah, no, it's funny. Point. Good, good. Times. I loved Harambe. Mm. It was a sad, sad mm. Good year. Um, there was a lot of terror attacks. Brussels at the it's airport. Bad. Nice and Berlin, I think, were the trucks. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Syria was really kind of um, was probably at its peak at that time at the Aleppo I think the image that sticks out to me was that little boy who was on like the back of an ambulance yeah. and he's yeah. covered in dirt and you know uh, injured obviously from the from what was going on there when was the little boy on the beach one I don't was know. it also 2016 I think so oh, yes that's loud <laughs> 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 okay, sorry about that. Yes, but I, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. I'm good. <laughs> so keep going. That was meant to be a background video, but the sound ended up coming out too. That was this year. Sorry. What was the beach one? No, the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, there was a coup in Turkey as well. You know, like, you know hundreds of people died there. As, um, Brexit happened. This yeah. all yeah. seems so yeah. recent. 2016. Yeah, this no. is not this, this year. year's kind of flown by. Jeez. Um, Trump obviously was elected in 2016. That's depending on who you are, that may be a good thing or a bad thing. (laughs) You're right. 2016 did suck. But there were some good things. There's the Olympics. Good times. Mm. But there was also a Zika virus that went with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bit of a pandemic. I remember that. that. Yeah. Zika. Zika. We did cover that. There was. Did you have that, Chris? Yep. Did you have Zika? You know what? Check yourself. It's weird when we talk about 2016 and we talk about things that we've covered. Yep. It's weird, Because right? you've been around. Yeah. When did you start? 2016. We did a... 2016? <laughs> yeah. 2016. It was a great year. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> great year. Fantastic year. Yeah. Fantastic year. Group settings started officially. Um, <laughs> Black Lives Matter. They do, Dip. They do. <laughs> Definitely do. Um, that kind of was, again, at its peak. So uh, that can be a... Well, it's a sad thing, but it's also a good thing that there's a movement for yes. social change. I'd say it's still on the rise. It's still on the rise. Still going. Um... Panama Papers were also ooh, released. Ooh. In 2016? Yeah. It's taken them a while to go through them. Oh, right. Yeah. The, reading the we got the Paradise Papers. <laughs> yeah, there's something else. Oh, it's Paradise Papers. Well. My apologies. Similar, similar kind of thing. There was a sequel. Yeah, yeah. there was a sequel. Okay. Uh, so then we moved to 2017. So again... Uh, so was 2017 better? That's the question. What do you, what's your feelings? Did well, you feel that 20 better than 2016? It's quite subjective. Know? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I feel like 2017 was literally a flash before my eyes. Mm. Like, it's all just but a blur. Because like, it was so much fun? 
it. Yeah, time does fly when you're having fun. I think mm. the memes were better in 2017. Because <laughs> of Harambe? Or? <laughs> yeah, that, that one's a bit... Uh, we're a bit done with Harambe, no, you're to be honest. Mate. Uh, oh, here we go. The memes went to another level this year. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree. It was That's true. I've been getting tagged a lot more <laughs> this year <laughs> than last year. <laughs> it's a thing. How long do you think before, like, straight up meme social media begins? Oh, don't declare ideas. <laughs> Come on, Copyright, Chris. Yeah, that's intellectual Trademark. property. Right Trademark. Right. Um, but you should tell me what your favourite meme of the year was. Just think about it. Uh, so the celebrities that died this year. Oh. Uh, Jerry Lewis. Mm. Jerry Lewis. Is that uh, the footballer? No, he was a comedian with... Oh, yep, yep, that's right. With Dan, and Dean Martin. Oh. Yeah, he was his partner, right? Um, his partner? Not like that way. Okay. Uh, well, not wow. that I know of. <laughs> uh, Roger Moore. Oh, Bond, oh yeah. James Bond. Shaken mm, not stir. Shake not stir. Um, Adam West, Batman. Oh, wow. Pure West. Yeah. Um, that's a Simpsons reference, and anyone realises. <laughs> uh, Hugh Hefner, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Maybe, I don't know, that might be a good thing. Uh, <laughs> what an edgelord. <laughs> edgelord. Did Hugh Hefner go to heaven, or was he in heaven on earth? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, neither just question. blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, but there was still a lot of terror attacks. Seems to be inevitable nowadays, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Ariana mm. Grande thing. Ariana, right? yeah. What, 23 died? Over 500 injured at that concert? Yeah. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what you... Would you label this a terror attack? Uh, the Las Vegas? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Why, people were terrified. terrified. Why terrified. wouldn't it be? Because he's white. Yeah, he's that's white. what people would say, right? He, what's the definition? Yeah. Oh, no, terror. Inciting terror. If you're white, <laughs> if you're white, it's a tragedy. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a mental He's condition. Mentally yeah. 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 Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on from that, hey. Um, <laughs> I'm happy to die right into <laughs> mm, No, no, I like move on from that. Uh, stigma. The yeah. Stigma, the wording. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty 100%. damn terrorist. It mm. says a person who uses. Unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians. He was he was sick, Ali. Give him a break. <laughs> um, I was sick. I still came and did this podcast, didn't I? <laughs> nice. Unlike somebody, who J Rat Nick Koo oh. Nick Koo. last Ooh. week. Ooh. Nick Koo Nick, Nick Koo. Koo. Thought yeah. you were calling out the shooter. <laughs> 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 I invited him last week. He just bailed. Mm-hmm. Said he was in jail or something. Devo. No. <laughs> Bad taste. He's, he's dead. Yeah, too soon. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I didn't pay much attention to that story. So. Good job. Wait. So 58 died there, and again, over 500 people injured. Shivers. Wow. Uh, Syria's still ongoing, but it's kind of died down a bit. ISIL have kind of lost a lot of ground. But they're still in civil war. They lost their places. capital, right? Yeah, it's been pushed back and Made even progress. pushed back in Iraq and places like that. Mm. But and also, a million mm. of those Syrian refugees are now Germans. Mm. It's good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. But um, oh, my bad. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's still ongoing. The place is still in civil war, so that's no good. Uh, good. North Korea. Oh, that's a big Fle- one. Yeah, they're flexing their muscle, aren't they? Mm-hmm. North Korea. Was yeah, one muscle. Top yeah. of the list. Twenty seventeen. Um. So it doesn't matter what kind of sanctions we seem to be putting on them. They keep trying to shoot more in, uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. They're coming for us. Trying um, nuclear warheads. Some news this week, I think, of another missile test. And, and, yeah. And it was a plane, the Cafe, you know, the Cafe Pacific plane. Yeah. Kim Jong. I saw it. Yeah. The passengers saw yeah. the missile. Re-entering the, the yeah. atmosphere. It's a bit That's terrifying. Crazy. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, guys, as you can look to your <laughs> left, <laughs> we can see North Korea just... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that. That's just North Korea. 27, 2017 was the year of Kim Jong. Yep. He kind of, yeah, he's kind of yeah. made his mark, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. But it's all just a bit of, you know, a bit of showmanship, I think. Yeah, true. Have you got anything good? Because this all sounds pretty kinda depressing. Sounds bad. Sad. Trump. It's kind of been. Yeah. He started his presidency. It's kind of been surrounded in Still scandals. Sad. That good? <laughs> uh, no, it's a matter of opinion. Look, he probably he's done some good things, but there seems to be this kind of scandal of Russian collusion over his head. Oh so yeah, Russia. Didn't matter where you looked; it was in the news everywhere. It seemed to be 
more of his inside, you know, his inside people were kind of... Excuse me? You know, like he's close. The people close to him were kind of... Say getting, he's inside people? Yeah, you know what I mean. That's his, a term. His people. His people. The people close to him. Sarah knows what She knows what he means. But uh, Robert Mueller's been after him. I think there's been four people charged. There's people being like, what, that secretary Finn? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. What's his... Is it Donald Trump or Eric Trump? His son who was like... Had a meeting with one of the lawyer, Like a lawyer in Russia at allegations. Mm. So they've come to the conclusion that like Russia definitely wanted Trump to win. Mm. And they probably accessed Hillary Clinton's email and leaked them to WikiLeaks. But it was their active collusion from Trump's side. That's the, the question. It's just real. I think this week they were saying they've got um, access. They want to get access to his Deutsche Bank uh, accounts. Deutsche? Deutsche. Because they have like a kind of links to Russia. And I think one of the oligarchs has a bit, you know, I don't know what kind of ownership or kind of involvement in that bank. Good. Um, so that's still ongoing. So that kind of sucks. But overall, I think there was actually a bit of hope in 2017. Tell me more. Tell you want to hear the hope? Yeah. Yeah, um, please. So obviously, again, there was the Paradise Papers. Not the Panama <laughs> Papers. The Paradise Papers. So, you know, there's a move towards, I think people are getting fed up with just the inequality that exists between the rich and the poor nowadays. Well, that's, that's very good. Yes, that's mm. good. And the co- how t- big corporate multinational companies evade billions of dollars of tax. Bring them down. Have, education and health systems that are falling apart and unable to meet needs in these countries. Very good. While just shareholders get rich and CEOs get exorbitant Let's uh, expose them. salaries. Mm-hmm. So I think, Rise that, up people. I, think, I think that's a good. It's power to the people. Um, I think the big one is the Harvey Weinstein. Oh, Weinstein Gate. That was a big one. Mm. That will yeah. be remembered for many years to come, yeah. I'm sure. It's still going. It seemed mm-hmm. like every single week there's some kind of actor or you know celebrity who's kind of being accused of sexual harassment or mm. you know like people like what Dustin Hoffman um that guy from Gossip Girl Ed Westwick mm-hmm. um, um Don Burke Ooh. Kevin Spacey Ooh. yeah mm-hmm. uh, and that kind of led to that you know the me too campaign mm. yeah yep. the hashtag and i think that's a good one um we're all none of us are women here um, I but I think she is. But I think we were all. I know I was surprised seeing just how um, <laughs> <laughs> how widespread that was, and how many people that you knew personally who may have experienced something like that, even though you know, and these things were happening. Maybe even uh, we were ignorant to it, or we turned a blind eye to it, and it happened in our workplaces, in our schools, and in our you know communities. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, and at that they were, what were they? The, so the Time Person of the Year was released, I think, today or yesterday. Oh, right, oh, yeah. Yeah, and it was the, uh, it had like four women on the front. So there was Taylor Swift, mm-hmm. uh, Ashley Judd, um, and then some other, I, can't, I don't know their names in truth, but other people who had been, who were, coming out. Who were like whistleblowers about sexual harassment or... Um, what, is, what did Taylor Swift have to do with that? I don't someone feel like, uh, yeah. grabbed her like a radio DJ when she was, you know, just kind of oh, starting yeah. out. He groped her. I don't remember reading and that he at went all. To, he went to court and she didn't do it for money because she only got like a $1 settlement, but he kind of, yeah, he got charged, which is good. So, but that kind of, I think um, people coming out there, it's kind of sparked this huge culture change, this social change that, you know, no longer are women going to put up with being sexually harassed in the workplace while they're just trying to do their job and trying to do their best and the and you know the huge value that they bring to companies and businesses and workplaces all over the world um, and so they shouldn't you know that's I think I think we're all kind of mortified for what was happening there. Yeah, that's a good win. That's a good win. Well, it's a that's like a that's gonna take some bloody time as well because yeah. that's not a flip of a switch one that's no. a Still more coming. very deep ingrained yeah. culture thing that yeah. needs to change yeah but I think that's how it happens right I think people being so fed up about it and yeah. just uh, bringing exposing it and bringing some kind of awareness to it and good journalism and good yep so power to them that's where it all started yep yeah, yeah. I think also on the I think this year has been a big win for women 
the gender pay gap has been yes in the has, spotlight. Has been in the spotlight. Yeah. Has it good. changed? Probably not. Probably not. No. <laughs> But again, I think it brings awareness to it, but though we do need to identify kind of policies, not just here's a problem, we want solutions. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's the next step. But again, it's that culture change. Um, I think that was highlighted by Lisa Wilkinson, that, that story that kind mm-hmm. of blew up. Um, although I, I don't think she should be the martyr that she's claimed to be. Um, but <laughs> she did pay attention up. to it. Yeah, and That story died pretty quick though. It did die. It did. Probably because she's gone to 10 and gotten a lot more money. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. I'm sure she's doing fine. So she's not someone struggling. Um, but yeah, so it, so it shouldn't be. You know, it should be equal work, equal pay. Um, I'm with you. So I think I think today also one of the big ones, particularly for Australian news, is a same-sex marriage. Oh, true. Uh, big clever clever site, 62 to like 38. Passed. It's just got went through the uh, the Senate. Now it's gone through the house, the lower house today. And it was passed. The bill was passed. So I think twenty eighteen looks a better year. There's hope. Where twenty sixteen kind of ended on Trump, Trump, Brexit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So there's yeah. a there's, I think there's an improvement coming. I mm. like what you did there. Yeah. You look at the projectory. A journey. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. And hopefully Trump gets impeached next year. Well, he uh, <laughs> that got shut down look. today. They voted on impeachment in the Senate today. Okay, got but sh- he's still going. FBI, they're still yeah. investigating. Yeah, hopefully. Um, is that it, Dip? That's it. That's my big news. <laughs> 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 <laughs>